con no mato el chorrucón. La fiesta no se acaba de escuchar. De algunas son a la voz del rucón. No para de las máscaras. Nunca llega el maldito. Well, the holidays always bring us some incredible NBA action. It's certainly what we have in store for you. today with Brett Barry and Greg Anthony this is Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well the Nuggets with their last game here in Denver before heading back out on the road these guys are hot no doubt about it continuing to put up win after win and it seems like every win they string together this group gets tougher and tougher to beat playing beautiful basketball here of late of things going on besides their execution as this group seems to be coming together. And Giannis's journey GA is so incredibly compelling a full length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well you hear that saying my life is like a movie never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. And teammates more and more looking for plays from Murray like that. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Now here's Porter. We saw him with 19 points his last out. They get the rebound. It's a second chance effort. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact and he'll go to the line for two. And it looked like Aaron Gordon faked out the defense just enough to get the contact. One thing about Aaron Gordon that stands out is his insane athleticism. He's capable of some incredible dunks. And because he attacks that rim with such ferocity, it makes it special to see him go to the rim. We've seen Gordon compete, Brent, in the dunk contest like you. And there are some who would say he should have won. What about you? You can make a strong case that he was robbed, and Aaron actually actually does. Uh, but we see that under the legs, leaping over the mascot dunk on so many highlight reels. Just a special athlete, and what a special contest that was. Here is Porter following the basket by Brooke Roper. Great timing, but Aaron Gordon's going to make any lob look good. Pass to Lopez. Makes it off the glass. Lopez has got six. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And that one drops. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. And here's Denver. Four-point game. Caldwell Pope outside. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Pass to Jokic. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. 
misses the baby hook. Here's onto Takumbo. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Outside Gordon. Porter in the corner. Pass to Jokic. Nice move. And the rebound goes to Lopez. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim and he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense not really a factor. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Nuggets. They couldn't put the pieces together losing that last matchup with Boston. Well, in that one, you could pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster at best. Yeah, and they didn't get, like, blown out in that game, but it felt deflating. It felt like they got crushed. They could not get anything going, no matter who they had out on the court. Playing games at altitude here in Denver, Brent. How does it affect the player? Well, you could say it's mental, but I could tell you from experience, Kevin, it is physical. I mean, it does hit you. And you got to get past that early burn before you can get back into the endurance part of your condition. Now here's Giannis. The score now all even. Giannis has got his second bucket of the game to go. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. We've got 113 left to play in the first. Here's Smith. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Well, and really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Pass to Connaughton. And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That's his first foul. Second team foul. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Now, here is Ibaka. That's what we call intelligent defense. Just put himself in a position to make a play on that kickout. With the step back. Here's Highland. A three-pointer off the mark. It's stolen by Smith. It's stolen by Allen. Middleton. Rebound by Jeff Green. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. Denver leading by three. Pass to Highland. Launches a three. Hands it from downtown. Here is Carter. Last game we saw him score 14. Here is Ibaka. Takes it down to Middleton. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Nuggets ahead. They're up by six. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, going to the bench early, they obviously knew what they were doing. They're looking for a spark here, and the coach tapped the right guys to get out there and provide it. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, Michael Porter Jr. was a top prospect in his high school class, but his back injury has presented a constant challenge. He says, it changed my perspective. I'm just going to get up every day and try to be better than I was the day before. If I'm giving my best every day, then I'm good. Back to you guys. Well, you hope he stays healthy. That has been a concern. Thanks, David. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. Good! And a great job, Murray, just getting inside the defense and knifing his way in. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Inside. Shot's good by Ibaka. Ibaka's got four points in the quarter. 
You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And, you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked just one all-star game, but Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. To the middle, and it's sent back by Jokic. Yeah, you like when Jokic is this active on the defensive end. More blocks, please. Here's Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Pass to Ibaka. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Jokic. And Ibaka's game throughout his career has transformed a bit. Athletic and inside shot-blocking presence. Now more of a spot-up three-man to play smart in the pick-and-roll. Now here's Caldwell Pope, defended by Middleton. The kick out to Porter. Denver passing it around. Here's Jokic. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Jokic just got the lead up to seven now for the Nuggets. I like when Jokic uses his size down there on the inside. He gets the ball to a good spot, and then he goes to work. Second team foul. Quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And just a perfectly designed play. Anytime you can get a dunk on the inbounds, you know the X's and O's were in the right spot. Pass to Porter. To the paint. And here's Gordon. Back to Jokic. And Jokic throws it. good and when people talk about defense the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot great for our audience can you explain what that's about it's a great point Kevin and, and listen the two defenders on what we call the boxes that's down in the low post there uh, you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line and then you have the two defenders on the elbow so that's the edge of the free throw line uh, the idea to close down the paint down his high post. Rebound by Smith. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Astonaji down low. A shake. And it's Smith laying it in. Smith's got six. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. So both teams making some changes here. One twenty-four left to play in the first half. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Count that one. Eight points for him. He does such a good job with patience inside as Giannis finds some room strong in the interior. Murray with the bounce pass. Here's Naji. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Lopez. Bucks trail by nine. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Rebound by Jeff Green. Right side, Porter. Murray outside. He's got 
Green with the ball. Covered by Giannis. Shot clock at five. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Here's Highland. Offensive rebound. And Green slams it in. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. The shot's good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye open. And a wide open look for Porter. And so it's the Denver Nuggets in control with a nine point lead to end the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We come back right after this. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Bucks trail by nine. Right side out of the Kumbo. And here's Holiday. Here's Portis. Good defense by Jokic. Murray with it. Picked up by Portis. They're outside. Atatakumbo pulls it in. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. Here's Middleton. Gordon with the defensive effort. Talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board to the inside. Here's Jokic. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. There's so much about Nikola Jokic that is special um, for a five-man. It doesn't really matter any position, but his ability to crank out those triple doubles might just take the cake. Jokic does produce triple doubles at a near record rate. So in his 500th game, Jokic got his 71st triple double only Oscar Robertson and Magic Johnson recorded more triple doubles in their first 500 games think about that as a center he was doing that just truly unstoppable at times a moment now to hear from our sideline reporter Hall of Famer David Alden David thanks very much Kevin well of course Giannis is the Bucks leader but it's still coach Bud who calls the shots Giannis says as players we have to accept coach's plan we got to trust that's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. Pass to Gordon. To the paint. To the wing on the left. Here's Jokic. Milwaukee with the rebound. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. To the middle. Lopez. Lopez. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Lopez big around the rim. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Brown outside. Back to Jokic. Here's Highland. Buries it from three-point range. Highland's got six points. And Jokic, an elite passer for a guy at his position. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Here's Caldwell Pope. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. Jokic is rolling, and you can see the coaching staff over there applauding everything he's doing. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now, and that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again, just need to push all the right buttons. A 
Three-pointer is right on target. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. It's Brown on the win. Lopez with the block. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame, a smart block, if you will. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Giannis. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. It's Kumbo on the wing. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Jeff Green picks one up. And such a young, exciting core for the Nuggets. The MVP, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray. This group has a chance to be a contender for years to come. Pass to Highland. Jokic on top. He's got 14. In the corner, Smith with it. Sinks the three-pointer. Smith's got nine. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Now here's Lopez. Green with the rebound. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Yo, help you out. Now Jokic. It's so bad. It's a Kumbo. And so it's the Denver Nuggets sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And we'll... 35. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. The Nuggets lead by 14. Pass to Highland. But three. Rebound by Drew Holiday. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Lopez with the bucket. Dude, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Here's Highland. Porter, bounce pass. Out to Smith. Three-pointer. And the three ball is good. And the Nuggets lead by 15. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Pass to Highland. Back to Jokic. Lopez with the steal. Holiday with it. Now defended by Jokic. Here's Middleton. That shot, no good. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. It's Middleton at the elbow. Back to Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's foul number two for him. So both teams changing it up here. Outside Porter. Taken away by Holiday. And now it's Allen. Running. He can go all the way. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. The Nuggets lead by 13. It's up a three. Here's Najee. Smith outside. Another shot. Najee, no good. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. 
It's hauled in by Gordon. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. And the foul on Drew Holiday. And that'll be his third foul so far. Denver calls timeout. And Brent, how about what Chris Middleton has brought to this team? No question, a huge piece to that championship puzzle for Milwaukee. One of the best years that he has ever put together, which says something based on the numbers that he has put up throughout his illustrious career. And such a memorable season for this entire group. And Chris Middleton stood out in some of the biggest moments. some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, guys, I was able to catch what Mike Malone said to his team. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. To see if they were listening, guys. Thanks so much, David. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Giannis. Pass to Allen. Lock at six. Here's Lopez. Good. Nice job down low. Lopez has got six in the quarter. Uh, Lopez down on the inside, getting that soft touch to go. And here is Murray. And they recover it. Here's Highland. Back to Jokic. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. That is his first foul of the game. 130 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Highland. His three pointers off the mark. Bucks trailed by 14. Here's Giannis. Giannis dunks it down. And Giannis setting the tone right now with some authority on the offensive end. And they go to the intentional foul. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far? Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And down in the low post, they've had some success as well, winning a lot of points off of that physical ground and pound game. And back in 2021, Nikola Jokic became the lowest drafted player to ever win the MVP. The 41st pick of the draft, the first second round pick to win the award. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Nuggets. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooting. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Jokic. Well, a consistent intensity is what he brought to the floor here. He hit the glass hard, and he came up with a ton of rebounds. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at two. There's the triple. And the second chance effort by Gordon. 
and the Nuggets lead by 12. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this a confident win and one.